What's going on, everybody? I am back with another Prize Picks WNBA Player Props video. This one gonna be breaking down the first really nice slate we got on the year for WNBA. We have one, two, three, four games. So excited to get into it. Gonna be giving you guys three picks, all from the late game, to hopefully allow for you know everyone to be able to get all these picks in. I do have a bunch of other picks going on. In the premium now, we will have WNBA Live, MLB Live. If you're getting really serious, really looking to step up your game, that is linked below in the description. It is patreon.com slash kjk underscore DFS. I do have lower tier packages. That's going to give you access to all my core plays for a single app, single sport. I do offer underdog and prize picks. Uh, if you just want access to one sport, one app as far as prize picks and underdog is concerned. But if you want access to every single one of my picks as soon as I place them, uh, all of my tickets and a whole lot more prize picks, underdog fantasy, parlay play, thrive fantasy, uh, check out the KJK DFS VIP member package. That'll give you access to my entire Discord, uh, every single one of my VIP channels, and a whole lot more. I'm actually going to be giving you guys a little bit of a sneak peek behind the paywall today because we do have some data that I'm starting to collect on these uh, premium sheets. That'll give you kind of an idea as to the statistics, um, the edit that I'm looking to find today. So let's talk about it. We'll give you three. If you haven't checked out Prize Picks, you can use that promo code KJKD for us to receive an instant match on your first deposit up to $100 today. And if you enjoy this content, it would be greatly appreciated if you hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell so you don't miss any future content that I upload. It is free. It takes two seconds to do. It does greatly help me out. And I'll be helping you guys out with these videos for free all WNBA season long. So we'll talk about it. Like I said, um, do have a lot of interest, most notably uh, in this late game. I have other picks that I certainly am interested in, but the ones we're going to be breaking down um, are in this late game, and I'll be kind of explaining why I do have a ton of interest in these uh, three picks. So, pick number one, as far as who we're going to be breaking down here, we will talk about the New York Liberty taking on the Seattle Storm this late game. Like I said, the 9 p.m. Eastern time slot, so hopefully you guys can go ahead and get these picks in uh, no matter the time you're watching this video today. This game comes in with a 160 and a half over under. It is a 15 point spread in favor of the New York Liberty. So the New York Liberty are certainly expected to uh, take care of business here to say the least. Uh, but the usage and specifically three point usage has been very predictable on these two teams. And we'll go ahead and talk about it. Like I said, I'll go ahead and give you guys a sneak peek of these premium sheets. Now there's a lot of data to be had on the screen. I can't even fit it all on the screen for you, but I'll be able to highlight it tell you which player I'm discussing, and you'll be able to kind of follow along with me. Um, so pick number one, it is going to be that New York Liberty side. And we will be talking about Sabrina Ionescu, uh, who has one of the top usage rates in the entire WNBA. You look at as far as her three-point volume, though, uh, that's what I really do have a lot of interest in here today. 7.7 .7 three-pointers attempted per game. She's shooting 39.1% from beyond the three-point arc, which is really, really good. Obviously, a 40% um, rate behind the arc is going to be very efficient from a shooting aspect. The 7.7 three-pointers attempt per game, some really, really good volume. Um, and as far as her minutes played per game, she's putting up 31.7 minutes played per game. So she's out there on the court for big minutes. Her usage is up. And like I said, the three-point shots, um, she's flying them. She's shooting a lot of them, and she has been knocking them down um, at a very high rate. So she's the first prop that I do want to discuss today uh, over here on Prize Picks. And like I said, I do have interest in her three-point prop. Um, so that will be pick number one that we're going to discuss here today. Sabrina Ionescu. Uh, we'll just go ahead and pull up her game logs as well to give you an idea of how she's been getting the job done uh, in the early going. Three games played so far. Like I said, 34, 30 minutes, 31 minutes respectively. Look at the three-point volume, four for nine, three for five, and two for nine in game one. So game one is really the only game she didn't clear this prop. Uh, didn't have the best shooting night, but the volume was still there, two for nine. Then she's been able to uh, obviously surpass that two and a half prop line that we're going to discuss here these last two games. Do you think she can do it again here today? And even though it's a large spread, um, the fact that it's a three point prop, you know, if she does get taken out of the game early, there's a really solid chance she already knocked down those three three pointers. So that's another thing I just want to bring up to you if you're concerned about the blowout. Um, a three-point prop can certainly be a nice alternative to that because if they're going to blow them out, there's a good chance that Brianna Ionescu is doing a lot of that scoring. I think there's a good chance she knocks down three three-pointers tonight uh, for pick number one. We'll be going with the over uh, 2.5 three-pointers here for Sabrina Ionescu. That will be pick number one here. Kind of talked about it. Volume's high. Minutes are high. Um, I like the fact that they do have a high implied team total. They're expected to be you know favored in this game. But this prop 
allows us to take advantage of that high team total without having to worry about it. You know, maybe she gets pulled out of the game at the end of the fourth quarter. I think she can still knock down those three three pointers. So that's going to be pick number one. Uh, pick number two, we're going to stick in the same game. Like I said, her teammate, once again, heavy usage. Um, who am I discussing? In this case, it is going to be Brianna Stewart. So we will pull up those metrics here for you and break those down for you too as far as why I like this one. Um, very similar story for Brianna Stewart. Usage is high. Minutes are high. Uh, Three-pointers attempted is high. Brianna Stewart, 6.7 three-pointers attempted per game on the season. She's shooting 45% from beyond the arc. That's really, really good, essentially 50%. Um, the usage is way up. She's rocking a 28.4% usage rate, so obviously that means the ball's in her hand early and often. And we already talked about the massive um, favorite as far as the New York Liberty are concerned. 15-point spread, 160.5 for under. Obviously, that makes it so that the New York Liberty do have a pretty hefty team total. Expected to put up a lot of points. And um, Brianna Storm making a return to the Seattle Storm. I guess there's a little bit of a narrative there if you want to factor that in as well, playing her former team. Uh, but regardless, the minutes and usage are going to be there for her. Uh, so that always makes us happy. And once again, so we're talking about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eighth in the entire WNBA over a three-game sample size and three-pointers attempted with 6.7, 45% from the end of the arc. Um, really, really efficient. Uh, we know Brianna Stewart's one of the best players in the WNBA. And once again, we don't have a push line. We have a nice even um, 2.5 line, so I think there's a half-point edge in that line. That's something I certainly do want to be always discussing. You know, obviously, the more edge we can get, the better. And uh, I think we're getting some really good edge in this prop. Once again, even though it's like a high implied spread, um, the total's still there. And although the blowout could occur, she could be up to four in the fourth. I'll keep reiterating the fact that this is a 2.5 three-point prop, the fact that she can just knock this down in the first half or in the third quarter makes me feel a whole lot better about it. Um, pace should be there, usage there, volume there. Has crushed this prop last two times out. She knocked down three three-pointers last time, six the time before. And we will go ahead and pull up her game log to give you an overall visual for Brianna Stewart. 6, 9, 0 for 5 in game 1. So similar to Ionescu, that's the only game where she's had a little bit of an off shooting night. Going to happen from time to time, but overall, going to play in the mid-30s. You know, volume's there, and I think there's a good chance she's able to knock down three of those three-pointers for us here tonight. So pick number two, we're sticking in the same game with this high implied team total for the New York Liberty with the high usage player in Brianna Stewart. All the volume's going to run through Brianna Stewart and Sabrina Ionescu on this team. We kind of know that. Um, which is a beautiful thing. We want that condensed usage. We want to know exactly where the ball is going. And uh, we do know that with this team. So that's going to be pick number two, Brianna Storr over 2.5 three-pointers. And then pick number three, we're going to run it back on the other side. The Seattle Storm losing Brianna Storr in the offseason has opened up a ton of usage uh, on their side of the ball, specifically with Miss Lloyd. So once again, we'll pull up these metrics. She's going to be one of the top usage players in the entire WNBA so far this season. She has been shooting a ton. Uh, and you look at the shot volume for her. She's third in the entire league in three-pointers attempted per game over a two-game sample size. 8.5 three-pointers attempted per game for her. Shooting 35.3% from beyond that three-point arc. And uh, the usage has been absurd for her. She leads the entire WNBA with a 38 point one percent usage rate so um, they have been relying on her heavy it makes sense when you look at the makeup of this roster now obviously brianna stort no longer on the storm you got lloyd turner nurse uh magbegger and russell so jewel lloyd is going to be relied on very heavily as she has been over this first two games um, like i said we're starting to get a little bit of data here which is nice for the fact that we see she has pushing a 40 percent usage rate um, nobody else is even close to that usage rate. Like we talked about Brianna Stewart, who's one of the top usage players in the WNBA. She's like the second, uh, as far as the tier is concerned, she's rocking a 28.4% usage rate. There's a couple of players in between that are rocking like a 33, but no one is even close to the upper thirties usage rate like Jewel Lloyd. And, uh, she's going to be shooting a ton. And we talked about how they're underdogs in this game, 15 point spread. That's obviously going to help our case too. She's going to have to shoot even more. And there's a good chance she's going to keep taking these three-pointers um, as she has been in the early season. Um, once again, we will go ahead and pull up her game logs to give you guys an overview of her volume. Just explained it, top usage in the entire WNBA. So obviously she's been shooting a ton, but nine three-pointers last time out, eight three-pointers the time before. 
29, 37 minutes. So this is a game where they got absolutely blown out by the Aces, 64 to 105, and she still cleared this prop. So that's something I've been touching on frequently throughout this video because I know we are targeting a game with a 15-point spread. I know people get a little bit scared about the blowout, but um, these are props that these ladies can hit even if the game does turn to a blowout, which makes me feel a little bit better about it. We would prefer for the game to stay close, certainly. We don't want any of these uh, ladies to get in foul trouble, but you get what I'm saying here. Um, if the game, for some reason, does end up getting into a blowout territory in the fourth quarter, I still feel pretty confident about the three ladies we're targeting in this video being able to surpass their prop because the amount of usage they have uh, while they're on the floor. Drew Lloyd falls into that category, has cleared this in each of the two games to start the season, knocking down three three-pointers or more. Do you think that continues? Um, and the, the efficiency has been there for her as well. That's something I didn't touch on, but she's shooting 35.3% shooting from the under arc. Um, obviously, we would prefer that they have a good shooting percentage from the under arc if we're targeting. Uh, obviously, I already dove into that, but over 2.5 three-pointers here for Drew Lloyd will be pick number three. I think we're getting some good value on these three three-pointer props in this late game tonight. All very high volume players, all taking many three-pointers, all shooting efficiently, all very high usage rates. Uh, we know the opportunity is going to be there for them in this game environment tonight. And that will be my three picks uh, to get you winning some money over on prize picks in the WNBA tonight, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, Hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell so you don't miss any future content that I upload. It's free. It takes two seconds to do. That's great. They help me out, and I'll be helping you guys out with these videos for free all WNBA season long. Once again, the premium packages are live. If you are really getting into the WNBA, um, you're going to get more bang for your buck, obviously, in the VIP with MLB and WNBA going on, as well as NBA. So the more sports going on, the more you get in there just naturally, uh, which is obviously ideal. I want to give you guys as much value as possible in that package. So check it out if you're interested. It's all for me in this one. Wishing you guys all the best of luck on your prize picks WNBA player props tonight. And we will see you in the next one.